Hi, in this video I'm going to look at a number of ways you could uh, kind of manipulate these names here. So for example you might want to reverse the order of the names. So it would be Jones, for example, Jones, comma, Bert, Fuller, comma, K. How do we actually achieve that? Well, I'm in Excel 2013, so there is actually a really easy way of doing this, and it's something called Flash Fill. If you don't have Flash Fill, then don't worry too much because I'll show you another way of doing it later on. So what I would do is I'd say, right, I'd actually type in the pattern that I want to replicate um, down the rest of the column. Just put a space there. Press return. And then what I do is I just select those cells. So the cell that I've typed in the pattern, the cells I want to copy it to. And then if I go to data, I've got flash fill. And you can see that it does it straight away. It just repeats the pattern down the page, down the uh, column. Now that's great if you have um, Excel 2013, maybe you don't, so let's look at some other ways of achieving this. Now another way of doing it would be to delimit the text and then concatenate the names but in the reverse order. So I'll just show you how to do that. So let's try and delimit it. So what I do is I select that those names there I go to data, text to columns. So it's already noted that the uh, text is delimited. So a delimiter is essentially a common character that decides for you where one field ends and another begins. So the space defines the gap between the two fields. So yeah, I want uh, my text is delimited. I click on next. My text, my delimiter is a space. So I just click on space there. Click on finish. It separates out uh, first name from last name. What I could then do is concatenate or join the text together, but in the opposite direction, opposite way round. So I could say uh, it's B2, and then ampersand ampersand joins. Um, two pieces of information, two text strings or whatever together, but I want um, between the last name and the first name, I want a comma and a space. Those go in double quotation marks because they're literal characters, ampersand, um, first name. Copy that down. That would work just fine as well. But I have ended up with three columns, so I could always get rid of those, but there may be a neater way of doing this. Let's look at that. I'm just going to use some text functions to uh, look at the other option uh, that you've got. Now, essentially to use the text function, I'm going to use mid, left, len, and search for text functions to achieve this. And I'll start off with search because basically the text functions will need to know where the space is within our text string. So uh, search will do that for us. With the search functions, find, basically you've got to specify, first of all, what text you want to find. So in our instance, it's a space, so it's got to go in double quotation marks, comma, within what text, well, this text. You've also got this optional third argument start number, so that's the position at which you want to start search. If you leave it blank, it starts with the first character, which is what we want. So if I press return, it returns five. So that tells us that the um, fifth character within the first name is where the space is. If I copy that down, you'll see it's found the position of the space in each of those names. Now, I actually am going to need that for uh, a larger formula that I'm going to be creating. So I'm just going to cut that out. So um, now I'm going to use the mid function because what I want to do is to be able to extract a certain number of characters midway through this text string. So the mid function is what you use to achieve that. So mid, now you can see that mid has three arguments, text, which is this, the text that you're extracting the characters from. Then it requires a start number. Now the start number is the character after the space. So I can use my search function, if I paste in my search function, to determine where the space is. And then if I add one, that is where the surname actually starts. So um, type in a comma, 
Um, and then it's going to ask for the number of characters. So the number of characters I want to return from that start position. Now, I could, in fact, just put in a big number, 50. Press return, and you'll see that it does actually work. Okay, there are no spaces after that character or anything like that. That works fine. Uh, there is another way, I might as well show you this. Um, it's called uh, len. It's another text function. And what that does is it returns the number of characters in a text string. So if I said len this a2 and then subtracted the result of the search function, that would also give me <laughs> the correct number of characters that I need. Just a basic bit of maths there. But I just showed you the length character because there's another text function that you could use. But in fact, you could just put a big number in there, the maximum number of characters you think you'll ever want to return, and it would work fine for you. So if I copy that down, you can see that it has returned the surname. So what I can then do is concatenate that with, so I put in my ampersand, concatenate it with uh, a comma and a space, in quotation marks, and then concatenate it with the first name. Now, um, to do that, I'm going to return characters at the beginning of the text. So I'm going to say equals left. Okay, and the left function has two arguments. So what I'm going to do is say, um, I want to return text from this, characters from this bit of text, but I want to know the number of characters I want to return. So that would be the search function the result of the search function, so the position of the space, minus 1. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Press return. And you can see that it has in fact returned the names in that sequence. So, three ways of doing it. You had flash fill. Great if you've got Excel 2013, so saves you bags of time. Um, you could um, use the delimiter to um, split out the the names in two separate columns and then concatenate back together or you can use a combination of text functions. I've used mid, left, len and search to uh, achieve the same result.